Hello, and welcome to another episode of Success Coaching for the Better World. My name is Manny Nowak, and as always, it's my pleasure to be with you. If you haven't been here, welcome. If you have, welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about you. Because you see, the only person that you can change, the only person that I can change, is myself. And I'm going to run you through this Mideast mystique. It says, young players say, give me the energy to change the world. But when you get to be middle-aged, you change that a little bit to say, just give me the grace to change all those I come in contact with. My family and my friends, that's good enough. And when you get elderly, then you end up saying, Lord, give me the grace to change myself. If I prayed this right from the start, I wouldn't have wasted my life. Wow. Is that something? Change the world. Change those I touch. Or change just myself. Which one is it? John Maxwell, in his book, Town is Never Enough, says very simply, when it comes to changing others, we want to do it right away, immediately. But change ourselves? Whoa, not so fast. That's a problem. The only person you can really change is you. How long it takes us to figure that out? A long time. But it's important to understand that when you do try to change yourself, you can actually end up changing the world, all those around you, everybody. It just takes us a long, long time to understand that very simple principle. Change me and watch what happens. So, how do we begin this process to change ourselves? What are the steps? How am I going to make that happen? Well, in order to change oneself, first thing you got to do, and we've talked about this time and time again, is this little A word, right? Attitude. More than anything else, our attitude is what affects and influences all those around you. And of course, that's nothing new to those who have listened to me, because I always talk about attitude, don't I? Think about it. Envision what happens when you complain, whine, get mad, never satisfied? You know that person. Picture them. You're there sometimes. What are the consequences? Everyone around you ends up being the same way. It's like the set of dominoes. You hit that first domino and hits the second one, third one, and it just goes straight down the line. And everyone ends up being the same. But think about it. If you do it the right way, if your attitude is the right way, it does the same thing, but only in a much more positive way. Thus, change with, starts with ourselves, with our attitude. Adjust the attitude from complaining to complimenting. From whining to winning. From getting mad to getting glad. Try a few of these small changes I'm going to roll by you here this week and watch what happens. Watch how you transform not just yourself, but everyone around you. I guarantee you this will work for you. I want you to try it this week. Number one, I want you to smile. I want you to get that grumpy look off your face no matter how miserable you feel, no matter how much stress you're dealing with. I heard this great story from a friend of mine recently. He had an appointment with his cardiologist, and the doctor was a miserable guy, never smiling, never had a friendly word to say to anyone. Now, if you know my friend, he's just not one to tolerate that type of behavior from anyone. I don't care if it's his doctor or who it is. And he says to the doctor, why are you such a miserable cuss? What's the matter with you? Suck it up and smile, will you? <laughs> the doctor, in such dramatic shock, shocked that anyone would talk to him like that, just started laughing out loud. 
And I want to tell you, it's had a positive effect, not just on the doctor, but on his practice and on his patients. Why? Because he changed himself from being Mr. Grump to Ben. Just put that little smile on and listen. You can do it too. Number two, open your eyes. When you see somebody struggling, pay attention to what they need. Do something. If someone has a need, do something. Let's figure out what you could do in changing, in helping. I had a shocking revolution, revelation the other day. I was at the post office, and I rush in. You know, I'm 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 a bad example sometimes too. I'm in a hurry, my head's down, I'm going too fast, and I rush right by this elderly gentleman with a cane in his hand, who's able, barely able to walk, and he says. Hold on, Sonny. Let me get that door for you. And he holds the door for me as I walk through the door with my head down, embarrassed. Because you see, I should have opened the door for this gentleman, but I was moving way too fast. Reminded me that sometimes you need to slow down just a little bit. And number three for today, because I'm only going to share three of them today. Take time for people. We're in such a hurry. We're all, we all got 24 hours. That's it. And yet we think what we're doing is the most important thing and that nothing else matters. And we tend to sway towards believing nothing else is important. And believe, I can just go on and on and on. And, and sometimes you just need to stop and have that conversation with someone. Just take that moment for that new employee. Take that moment for that vendor. Take that moment for your child. It could change their lives in a positive way. Slow down and watch what happens to all those around you. I remember people who were so busy and took a moment for me. It changed things in my life. You can do that. Your mission this week, simply smile, open your eyes, and take time for someone else. Smiling will change you, how you're perceived, and it will influence all those around you. I guarantee you. Open your eyes, take notice of those around you. Be mindful of where there might be a need and where you can make a difference. It'll change you and perhaps someone else. Take time for someone else and watch what rewards you get. Remember, the only person you can change is yourself. But impact of those changes are so far-reaching. Get busy. This is Manny you Noah. Know you want to talk? 856-358-4021. 856-358-4021. Three five eight four zero two one. You can contact me on the web at www.mannynowak.com. It's M A N N Y N O W A K. Manny Nowak. M A N N Y N O W A K. If you want to get me via email, just put Manny at mannynowak.com. Remember, the only person you can change is you. Get busy. This is Manny Nowak, Success Coaching for a Better World, saying have a great day.